This is it, last three stations. I want you to feel. I want you to feel it. There you go, there you go. This is not an easy workout. The high pull, the reverse grip row. It's a trainer who is pushing hard. Finish it. Using tough love. You are trying to get two full rounds of this in. Pushing your muscles you go. to you their go. limits. Feel the difference? Yeah. Good. She worked us today hard, really hard, but it was good. 10 years ago, Erica Porter, a former Women of Wrestling Superhero World Champion, and go down and up, opened the doors to Endorphasm Gym in Midlothian. You're gonna lift up. Because she lives for the high, which she calls E Strong. Endorphasm is the moment during movement that you feel all things are possible. And to make you feel it too. Shaking. That's living. When you're able to connect to that feeling, it changes us as humans, and that is endorphasm strong. So you should feel a lot of pull here. The 48-year-old okay. wife and mother of right one pushes her class hard, but uses a different approach during one-on-one -on -one sessions. Your breath is what you take with you. A softer voice. It's with you all the time. Three, two, But still the one. same medicine movement. And we as humans were designed to move. And when we stop moving, we die. So this is how you take it out of your body. And it's connecting with the endorphasm, the power of that movement. And I'm telling you that you are that strong. Well, you're that and you're pushing me a little. Just what Chrissy Wingfield desperately needed. Yeah, I wish I had known about this. I would have been here much yeah. sooner. Chrissy yeah. is fighting back after the mother of two from Chesterfield got the wind knocked out of her. I was diagnosed in 2019 with breast cancer. It was stage three. A bilateral mastectomy. Next, four rounds of what they call red devil chemotherapy. Then 12 rounds of Taxol. You just never know when it's gonna end. Chrissy then finds out she's a carrier of the BRCA2 gene leading to a hysterectomy, followed by 20 rounds of radiation. It's like one of those roller coasters that you're in pitch black and you're just holding on for dear life and you think you're gonna be at the end, but you're not. The roller coaster still spinning. In 2021, doctors tell Chrissy she needs surgery to repair a painful breast encapsulation. Next, a deep flat eight hour procedure. In all, 11 surgeries, no motivation, and a ton of time on the couch. I gained like 30 pounds. My hips started to hurt. I, I just, I wasn't moving enough. I, I knew something needed to change. Unable to keep up with her two boys, Chrissy turned to the strength within the walls of this red room. I found her pamphlet in my oncologist's office and I was like, okay, this sounds like it might be for me. Finding other warriors battling cancer. This is gonna be a nice community for all of us, you know, I think just for so many of us that feel like we're alone in this struggle. Here, she is not alone. She has others like Bonnie to join her in this fight. This is gonna be something big. I just feel it. It's a cancer fighting community with accountability. I came today because I knew she was gonna be here for me. She helps with that commitment. And of course, look at me, movement. I don't know if it was someone else besides Erica if I would be doing this because it, it truly is, it's empowering to know everything she's been through and that I've been through and we can kind of have that bond. So that's very, it's very helpful. I am a cancer patient, that's three. Erica and Chrissy have a deep understanding of what it truly means to fight this fierce disease. I was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer in June of 2020. Erica created the nonprofit Endorphasm Foundation in October 2020, a free community where certified cancer exercise specialists help people move through cancer. The medical community is great at treating the disease but they're not as great at treating the entire person. An impact she noticed in Chrissy after the first session. 
you don't understand the impact that it has on you until you're living it. Um, and so I think for her to have somebody that she can talk to and connect with that has um, been there is also incredibly valuable for her in this moment. Chrissy now realizing physical activity. Heart rate's getting up, you feel alive? Yeah. Good. Is just as important as any medicine. I felt like I did something. I was not, you know, just, just, just sitting around the house. Seeing herself in Erica's reflection. Two more. Chrissy vows to live fully and spread awareness. The biggest thing I can tell women out there is to please make sure they're doing their monthly checks at home. I respect and I honor each person that walks here and, and trusts me. And how they walk out of here is really important to me.